Welcome out guys to another uh, wet, dark and gloomy day in Tasmania. We're going into winter here in Tassie. Uh, we've had a lot of rain the last few weeks and uh, my rivers are now all murky. On a recent poll that I did, you guys asked me to uh, return to the river with all the fine gold. Uh, I would love to have done that today, but uh, it's just too wet and uh, that river's uh, in flood at the moment. So today's plan is I'm gonna go into a smaller feeder creek uh, I'm hoping that the water might be uh, a little bit clearer and I can uh, do some sniping in there. But if not, I've brought the Gold Monster 1000 with me, uh, pickaxe, and uh, I've also got some panning gear and crevicing gear in my pack. But let's get down there. I'm pretty excited to start this adventure. Okay, this track's still here, so this is an old prospector's trail that I've uh, researched. It hasn't been used for a lot of years. Um, the excavators near the main road have uh, pushed a whole heap of debris in, so the access is uh, not good for any vehicles. But I'm hoping there'll be something left of it that I can do by foot. I think we're on it right now. You can see the ferns and everything are growing over the top. Yep, this is it. On the wet days like this, I'm always in my wetsuit. Uh, there's no point putting a jacket or anything like that. You just, every time you touch a tree or a branch, you're satched with water. So I prefer to just wear the wetsuit all the time. That way, if I can uh, actually snipe when I get there, um, I'll stay warm and I can be in and out of the water as I please. got a couple of k's to get down in there so this will take a little bit once we're there hopefully we find something some of these uh, valleys and mountainous areas on the west coast of Tassie drop for kilometers down to creeks and rivers it shouldn't be too bad the track ends uh, before I get right down there so there'll be a little bit of bush bashing for the last bit fingers crossed anyway just wanted to make sure my map was tracking before I dropped too far starting to get steep. All right, tracks turned to a mess. feeder creek that runs into the main creek that we want to be on. Oh, something stinging in my eye. Whew. Get all sorts of fungies down in these valleys. like a boggy marsh down in here. I don't know what the creek's gonna be like actually. It might be dirty. Okay, so this is a little feeder into the main creek. Judging by the color of that, it's not gonna be much good for sniping, so we'll be limited to our detector and our crevicing gear. All right, so I'm just working my way down this feeder creek. I'm almost at the main creek, but uh, I've been swinging the gold monster and I've got something massive, but it's you know, surely not though. If I hold it up higher, it's jumping both ways. I think mainly iron. As I noticed there's some bedrock just over here on the left. Oh, well, let's dig it out and see, hey? Oh, 
It seems like it's uh, fairly wide and in a big area over the bedrock, so I'm thinking maybe mineralised bedrock. Okay, I think I can see the other creek. Okay, there's the other creek, and uh, just as I suspected, it's filthy brown. So we're going to be looking for some high ground. Okay, the water level in this creek is just far too high, it's flooding pretty heavily, so I think I'm going to be extremely limited now and have to go up this uh, little feeder creek. Maybe we'll do a few pans in there and see if we can pick up a little bit of colour in that little feeder. Heavies, just going for the gravels where the creek widens a little bit here. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, one little fleck there, so that's a start. At least we know the gold's here. One little micro. Nothing in that one. Any big nuggets? Oh yeah. Oh, I think I just uh, panned it back. Thought I saw some colour then. Alright, I only got that uh, one piece on the first pan, so I'm going to call it on this creek, on this little area for now while it's flooded. Going up. Agonising. Steep walk out. Come across a big cutout, looks like a, either a water race, runs right down through there, very hard to see on the camera. Um, but underneath all this rubbish, it's either a big trench or cutout or a water race, wraps right around the edge of this hill. So I've come back in, it's about a week later and I want to have another go at this creek. I was pretty disappointed uh, last week when that water was murky. I really wanted to do some sniping and uh, even, even uh, if that didn't work, like I was pretty set on doing some detecting and some panning but uh, the water level was just way too high and too dangerous uh, to walk along that creek and uh, find the ground that I was looking for. So I'm going to get down there, we're going to give this creek another go. I'm fairly confident the water's going to be clear enough to snipe, so I'll see you guys down at the river. Okay, we're back in. Yes, look at that water. It's got the tannin staining. That's from the vegetation here in Tasmania, that uh, red copper look, Coca-Cola look. It's from the vegetation here, with a good torch you can work in it, even in the winter when it's dark like this. Oh, this is much better. So the other day the water was up over all of this. I couldn't even, I couldn't see where I was treading. It just shows the difference. And uh, I was walking over some of this, which is actually pretty good bedrock. So let's start making our way down. I'm actually heading downstream on this creek. Uh, I think the best gold's going to be closer to the main river downstream. 
it might drop pretty steep on the way down but looking at the topography there's a uh, nice uh, flat section further downstream which I want to get to wow this was all underwater so much water they raise so quick these little creeks and rivers run for miles and they just come up so quick when the rain's heavy you got to be really careful in these sorts of places I think I might have just spotted my first tiny little bit. Nah, Ac no, actually that was mica. So there's a lot of mica, really shiny looking uh, bits of uh, mica that are broken off the schist and that. Uh, it's gonna make it a little bit tricky, I think. So no luck in that spot. Yeah, but we won't let it deter us. I'm gonna keep moving. So the distance I wanna cover, if I don't find good gold fairly soon, I'll uh, cover this stretch of the creek and it'll be about uh, seven and a half Ks by the time I'm back to the car, so. I've got a limited amount of time, so I'll have to move fairly quickly, but also try not to miss anything at the same time. So this is where I got to the other day, and it was just absolutely raging. Yeah, it really put me off guard any further. It should be okay today. It's good that I can see what's underfoot at least when I'm treading in the water. little feeder creek up here on the right that's all it takes it could just take one little creek like this one up here to load this creek up that I'm in with gold yeah see that's a good sized creek too it could uh, easily push some gold into here oh what the hell am I in for here steep again. It's not supposed to be steep. Topography on the map's not steep. Wow.
we found gold. First piece, not too bad either. Nice chunky little flake. Chunky little bit. That's a better bit. Yeah. Check this cool little piece. Okay, so that's good. We're on the gold. This section of the river has got like a fault line running from one side to the other, and uh, it's got the bedrock poking up and it's acting like a natural sluice. So. Uh, I was able to get a few good bits of gold in there, so that's exciting. I could spend more time here, but this trip for me is a bit more about testing. Excuse my talking. I'm cold and my uh, nose is uh, blocked up. But uh, yeah, I want to. I want to test out a fair bit of ground today, so I'm going to keep moving. There could be something richer further down. Uh, you just don't know. So we're going to keep moving about. I'll mark this spot on the GPS and then. Uh, We'll have it for next time when we've got a bit more time. Talk about Jurassic in here. Awesome. Wow, this is awesome in here. Okay, I can see a lot of nice looking flat bedrock with uh, the right texture to it so I might uh, give this little spot here a go runs all the way down and around it's on a bit of a sweeping corner but uh, there's a lot of uh, logs and stuff that have collected up on this left hand side so uh, just in behind there could be really good So no gower on that spot, uh, which was surprising because the bedrock was perfect. Uh, it was quite sticky and clay-like decomposed underneath and nothing trapped on it. There's a couple of good crevices, one in there, one up there, one back here. 
I really can't explain to you guys just how remote I am right now. The uh, downside to my videos and finding gold is that I can't really give up the location. It's, uh, I doubt there's been anyone in this spot here in over a hundred years. The old timers would have followed up a lot of the creeks and rivers of Tassie, but spots like this are just way out there. Traveled quite some distance now, and this uh, river's turned into just big alluvial flats. No bedrock, nothing for me to work as a sniper. Uh, so I'm just keeping on moving, and we'll punch out the kilometres we set out to do till we reach that main river. Hopefully, we can get that far. It's already about midday now and the days are very short this time of year so I don't want to risk going back too far in the dark because it just gets too dangerous in a place like this. Oh that sun's amazing. Water's so cold today. I see the steam coming off me. There's one more elevation drop in this river, so I'm hoping there'll be a little bit more bedrock when we get to that. This place has got to be up there on one of the prettiest spots I've been to. Lots of log jams. This forest is just insane. I wish the camera would pick it up for what it is. They might be able to get back down through here. This has been a cool adventure today. I've been absolutely loving this. I'm just walking a lot because there's not a lot of bedrock, but I can just take in all the surroundings and enjoy it for once. I haven't really seen proper bedrock. All of this stuff is just large boulders, heaps of gravel. So it's not looking too promising, but we do have just, we have about 500 meters to go and I'll be at the river, but we'll, uh, we'll finish it off. We'll get down there and uh, and I'll have that one location where I found good gold that I can always come back to. But man, I am having an adventure. This place is just, look at that, look at that boulder. Check that out. See the little ferns hanging off. Oh, hello, mister. I didn't even see you there. What are you doing? Going for a walk, eh? Yeah. I rest you too much. How cool. I wonder where he was heading. 
So that boulder there has rolled down from right up in there. There's a big hollow. Okay, I can see it. There we have it, the main river. Oh, she's deep and dark. That's about all I can offer you guys today. Uh, we'll get home, have a look at the little bit of gold that I got, and uh, yeah, I gotta make the track way up there. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go bush to get out of here, but picked out a bit of a route for getting back that away. Okay, here it is. Not a bad result. I could have spent more time in that location, but uh, we were just testing out ground. I wanted to cover a good part of that creek and and uh, make sure there wasn't uh, some richer deposits in there somewhere. Uh, they're pretty unique pieces. You can see that bigger piece there has got a little bit of a hole right through it. That one really caught my eye when I first seen it. And uh, yeah, I was pretty excited. It doesn't take much to get me excited. I s still love just finding anything, especially in new places. Uh, it always gets me excited when uh, I find gold in new areas. We'll throw it on the scales and see if it's going to make the uh, scales move. Tricky left-handed, but we've done it. I'm happy with that. I'll take that for a winter's day in Tassie, testing out new ground. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's adventure and we'll see you guys on the next one.